nice for me. Just bought me something for no reason, just because it's Monday. Calm down, babe. We're starting to sound like them, aren't we? A little. Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? What exactly are the rules with our, like, you know, our, our thing? What do you mean? What, what, do, I, what do I mean? I mean, hypothetically speaking, are we allowed to see other people? Well, uh, our cover is boyfriend, girlfriend, so tactically that would be challenging, plus any prospective date would have to endure a rigorous vetting process to determine her motivation. Would her motivation be love? Ideally, but you're a very important piece of intelligence and you have to be handled with extreme care. Well, that sounds very nice. Chuck, I don't have to be a spy to piece together the clues here. You're interested in that Lou girl, aren't you? What? Well, I... Come on, babe. Get back in the bed. You know what? I think I'm just going to sleep on a floor. Chuck, we can have compromise. I'll cover. Well, you know what? I feel compromised over. Yeah. I have known him since the day he was born, obviously. When people would ask him what he wanted to be when he grew up, he would always say the same thing. Big boy. How cute is that? Ellie, you're killing me here. And now he is a big boy. And I can tell that he is because he is with a big, big girl. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to muck up your mojo. Try to stop her. Is she drunk? Chuck, you need a haircut. It's starting to make funny animal shapes. Let's go, babe. These two need their privacy, huh? When you were seven, I told you that the burglar stole the money from your piggy bank. That was a lie. It was me. At the time, I felt it was very important for me to have a new kid's fanny pack. Ellie, are you okay? Have you done anything out of the ordinary? Words taste like peaches. Okay, we're gonna go now. I'll let you kids get back to doing whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> Have fun, all right.